Hey guys, good morning, Miss Steele here. So crazy last morning meeting of VESY. And as cool as this has been, and as much as I have learned and appreciated all of this, I'm hoping our morning meetings coming up are face-to-face -face and in person. You know. But all right, moving on. So it's there, our current event is MLB News. The um, MLB, so Major League Baseball, made an announcement on June 24th. MLB baseball players will start playing baseball in July. MLB baseball players can start practicing July 1st. MLB baseball players usually start playing baseball in spring. They could not play this spring because of the coronavirus. So usually they go from like February to the end of March of practicing. And then games start at the end of March, early April. And because of everything, they weren't able to. So the MLB baseball season will be shorter in 2020. The MLB baseball season will start July 23rd or 24th. The season will end September 27th. Each MLB baseball team will play 60 baseball games. Most teams will play in ballparks with no fans. It's kind of a bummer because, you know, we're a big baseball fam family over here, but um, they're going to be playing and there's going to be games on. So that's exciting um, for us. It's actually game day at my house. So got all my baseball mom gear ready to go um, for us, but. Yeah, so baseball is back. All right, moving on. So guys, I gotta be honest, after today and this morning meeting, I may have no clue what day of the week it is or the date or current events or what happened on this day or what's Thursday, going on on this day June. because I'm not gonna be doing this anymore. I'm gonna be like, which way? So we'll see. All right, so today is Thursday. Thursday. And it is June Sunny. 25th. Huh. So it was just like majorly raining outside. However, it's done. And now it's going to get sunny, sunny. and hot and muggy hot. and sticky and all of that. But it's okay. It's okay. Because we'll be all right. All right. National days today. It is National Catfish Day. So if you enjoy catfish or you like fishing, today's a great day for you to go fishing or eat some catfish. I like catfish, so it might be something to keep in mind. It's also National Leon Day. I had to look this one up. All right, Leon, spelled backwards, spells Noel. Noel is a Christmas term. We are six months away from Christmas. So this day is the... Um, kickoff for all those crazy Christmas decorators and crazy Christmas lovers to start planning and preparing for Christmas this year with their decorations and all of that, their baking and whatnot. They start planning today, six months away from Christmas while it's like 90 degrees outside. I am not that person. It's also National Bomb Pop Day. Go out and have a bomb pop, you know, the ice cream with the, or the um, popsicle with the red, white, and blue. Uh, have, celebrate one of those, have one of those. Um, National Handshake Day. All right, handshakes right now. Not with all the yucky germs going around, um, but it is National Handshake Day. And then National Strawberry Parfait Day. This is like a dessert with like a yogurt-y um, and strawberries, and it is its day. So yay for that, but six months from Christmas and people are already starting to plan Christmas. Not this chick. All right. Today in history in 1876 on this day was the battle of little bighorn, which is also called custard's last stand. I had to write a report on this. Um, this happened in Montana and it was the U S army Alliance at the time. Um, with general custard against, um, the Indian tribes in that area. And custard was like, not backing down. We are staying right here. We are holding our ground and it, didn't go so hot for him and his men and they all ended up um being killed so yeah that's the battle of custard last stand or little big horn um in 1950 the korean war begins in 1991 marina narvatilova wins her 100th singles match at wimbledon